these are instructions for um, doing an e-blast. You want to go to components, and then you want to do ACY mailing, and you want to go to newsletters. Once you get to newsletters, basically what you do is you can make a copy of um, the latest news is for the e-blast. Um, this is for the digital edition, so we're going to do an e-blast. So we want to click in this checkbox, and then we want to click on copy. And so this creates a copy, and so now I'm going to click on the link to open it, and I'm going to make changes to this document. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to take out the copy. I'm going to go over and change the date. This is for today, April 30th. Next thing I want to do um, is I want to make this just a little bit bigger so I can see it. So I'm going to click on here and drag to enlarge it. I want to change this date here to Tuesday, April 30th. Okay, so here I have the articles that I want to um, change. Basically, you can either copy and paste the names of the articles. If you copy and paste the names of the articles, it is going to change the size. Um, if you have to go back and change the size, then if you notice, I have this highlighted here. It says Arial 12 point and it's bold. So that's what this font is supposed to be. This font for the text is supposed to be Arial 10 point. And for the link for the read more, basically where this text comes from is we go to the actual article and we copy the first sentence of the article and paste it in here. And then where it says read more, we click here and um, I'll do an example. So for today we have Will County Transportation Needs Outline for State Officials and this is the actual link for the article. So in this particular case I can just copy and paste this link. Where it says read more, I just click inside of there, click on the link. change it here, make sure this is open a new window, and then do update. And you just do that for each one of the articles. Now, once you have all of the articles changed that you want changed, then what you want to do is you want to save it, and you want to click on preview send. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to send yourself a test to be sure that all of the links have been changed um, and you can test everything. So right here it says send a test to and um, the person who's logged in, it should be the default here. So if your name is not appearing here, then what you have to do is click on other and then type the email address in here. So what I'm going to do is send a test. And what it does is immediately it sends an email where you can see what it looks like in your email. You can click on the links and make sure that all the links are going to the right place. So for example, this one was going to the Will County story. It is indeed going to the Will County story. And you want to test that for each one of the links that you're using. Once you've got all of that worked out, the next thing you want to do is you want to click on send. And then what it's going to do is when you click on send, it's going to send it to the first 499 people. Um, because there's a limit to how many emails you can send per hour. And then it's going to do a countdown and then you can send it to the next group of people. And that is how you do a... Um, e-blast. One other thing to point out is um, if you click on edit, like if you had changes that you still needed to make, you would click on edit from that window and it'll take you back here. And once you get back here, let's say you needed to insert an image. You place the insertion point where you want to have the image appear. And then you click on image to find the image on your hard drive.
And it's taking a moment to pull it up. So if you were going to pull something off your hard drive, you would click browse to browse it and then you would click on start upload. But in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use an image that's already in here. So I'm going to use this one. And one of the things that I want to point out is that there is this align feature right here. And what you want to do is you want to do align left and then click on insert and it's going to insert the picture. Now to resize the picture, you select the picture and the um, little handles indicate that it's selected. Then you click on this box up here, which is insert edit image. Once you're in here, what you can do is you can resize the image. So let's say I want to make this just 100. And it's proportional, so it's going to, if I just do the left, the um, width, it's going to automatically proportionally set the uh, height for me. And then the next thing you want to do is, you'll notice, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a preview right here. So for the margin, right now we have it set for left alignment, which is means that the picture is aligned to the left and the text is wrapping around it. What I'm going to do is uncheck this equal values and then for the right, I'm going to set it to 10 and hit the tab key. And what that does is it puts a margin in between the text and the picture. I'm going to update that. Click yes. And now if you notice, there's your thumbnail that has the text wrapped around it. Again, once you're done, you click save, preview, send. And then you can send it to all of the people on the uh, mailing list.